Hi everyone, this is a first lesson of our new unit on logarithms and we should have done a lot of this in class. I'm just going to recap and then go on to the other notes and examples. So I'm on page two. Um, so a lot of the logs, sorry, on a lot of the logs you could do in your head using mental math, like it said two to what power is one over eight, well we know that's negative three, but then you can also use a calculator to do log of the argument divided by log of the base. Now some calculators do allow you to just type it in like that, and that's really cool, but that's new. So other calculators you have to use the LOG button, and you can see if you got uh, C and D right, and then E and F also. So we take log of the big number, log of the base, nope, sorry, log of the argument, uh, divided by log of the base. Just remember that the base always goes on the bottom. Okay, so the base is on the bottom here, and then you're always dividing by the base. So you could check your answers here. I'm rounding to three decimal places because I teach AP Calculus, and a lot of you guys will be going to AP Calculus, and that's kind of like an AP, um, an AP thing through so three decimal places and that's not even how you're supposed to say it you're not supposed to say three it's not three decimals <laughs> it's the thousandths place but three digits after the decimal okay you guys know what I mean right right I'm gonna hide that okay so um, this is called change of base you're changing the base from whatever the base is you're changing them to both base 10 recap logarithms we need lots of review okay so recap this is called logarithmic form, and this is called exponential form. The base to the power of x equals a, the argument. We can chase, change the base from log base b of a to log of a divided by log of b. Uh, just make sure you're reading this the way I just said it. Log base b of a. Log base b of a. We know that if there is no base written, that it's assumed to be base 10. That's called a common logarithm. Um, anytime the base and the argument are the same number, it's going to equal 1, because b to the 1 is b. b to the 1 is b. And anytime a log is equal to 0, well then the argument was 1. Base to the 0 equals a, like that. All right, now, we, now when we go to the next page, it's almost like we missed something, which we did, because, so right here we go to the next page and we see this LN. You see that? LN. I'm going to show you what that is. Okay, so we're going to go, let's see if I can hop on over to Desmos. What? Cool. Ah. Um, okay, I'm trying to show you my screen. You can see this, yeah? Okay, so look at this lovely expression here, 1 plus 1 over x to the x, and I'm, I turn this into a table. There is a graph. We're not really, yeah, I guess we will. Okay, do you guys see how the, the as the x's get bigger, um, what is this value approaching? Do you see how it's approaching a horizontal asymptote? And do you see that horizontal asymptote will be uh, 2.7182? Eight. So if we were to graph that, let me graph y equals, I know that's off the screen, but 2.7182805. Do you guys see that? That's the horizontal asymptote. Okay, this is a very, very special number. It's as special, if not more special, than pi. You can't see me. Pi or Avogadro's Avoc 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 number. Is that, I, haven't, I haven't been in science in a long time. Um, I know it's not Avocado's number. I think it's Avogadro. Avogadro Avoc 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 is a coffee drink. Um, okay, you look that up. Okay, this is, does anyone know what this is? Does anyone know what 2.7182 is? Well, this is such an awesome expression as you take x going to infinity that they decided to give this number its own name. Okay, they decided to name it uh, just like pi got its own name. You ready for the name? Drum roll, please. The name is E. All right, do you see that? E. 
what's E equal to? E is equal to 2.7182. All right, why? 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 So uh, this is what we just I just showed you in Desmos. As n goes to infinity of this expression, then we get this number, and this value is called e. E. It's called the natural base. So we're gonna, now we're in this year's notes. Are y'all still with me? Here we go. E is equal to 2.718, and you need to memorize that. Memorize, memorize, because we're going to be graphing a bunch with E. E equals 2.718, and it is called, what does E stand for? Uh, it is called the natural base, and it has its own logarithm. So if you have log of base E, that is actually called the ln, or that's called the, if this is called the natural base, then this is called the natural log. Why is it the, why is the L first and the N second? It was because it's logarithm natural from France, from in French. Okay, I don't know if you could hear that sound, but I wanted to show you there's a lot of YouTube videos on E. And, okay, honestly, I wanted to check to make sure that it was called Euler's number. So, Euler was the guy who named it E. Uh, we will watch that little YouTube video in class. Back to our fun notes here. Okay, what is the purpose of example? Four. So you see here, we're trying to get you to do things for you to uh, discover something on your own. So do you see how this says log of 20 divided by log 3? We get this. But the ln of 20 divided by the ln of 3 is equal to this. So as you go down the page, what the point, well, you know, what's the point? Conclusion. If you use the ln button in the calculator, you'll get the same answer as this if you use the log button. Okay, all right, now we're going to get to these fun examples. So here we're going to solve for x. We're going to find the value of x in each of the logarithmic equations below by rewriting the equation as an exponential equation. So anytime you see a log, why is it there? It's there for you to rewrite it. Okay, so rewrite is like the big idea for these notes and these math problems. You ready? Get set. Here we go. Rewrite. So base, log, what's our base? Base is 9 to the power of negative 2 thirds equals x. And you go, ta-da, there, I found x. Okay, great. But our last unit, we learned how to find this number. So let's, um, let's figure out what this number is. Do you agree the negative exponent, what's that going to do to the base? Do you agree it's going to move it down? I like to move it, move it. Now we need to figure out what 1 over... This is now, gosh, I would like it if it were flipped. Wouldn't it be nice? Because then we could do the square root of 9. Does 9 have a cube root that we know and love? Nope. So we're going to say it's 1 over... Actually, should we just leave it like that? You can leave it like this, or you can say where it's a cube root of 81. That also works, but I think leaving it like that is fine also. Okay, let's go to B. Now, hi, what, uh, what have we learned in this video? What is the base? Anytime you see ln, the base is what? E. E. 
So we go e to the 3 is x. Guess what? You're done. Uh, if you want to type that into a calculator, you can say x is approximately 20.086 to the thousandths place. Thought, look at me being an official teacher. Thousandth. I don't know if that's spelled right, to be honest. I'll look it up before the video ends. Uh, C. Rewrite. Base. What's our base? Base is 3. What's our exponent? Negative 3. 3 to the negative 3 equals 2x plus 1. Finally, we get to do some math. Okay, what is 3 to the negative 3? 27. 1 over 27. Remember, why is it a fraction now? Because of uh, the negative power. Okay, do we have enough? <sighs> Who made this worksheet? How come we don't have enough room? 1 over 27 minus 1. Well, minus 1 would be um, 27 over 27. So 1 over 27 minus 27 over 27. 1 minus 27 would be, you ready? I'm going to go right here. Negative 26 over 27 equals 2x, and then we need to divide by 2. When you divide by 2, we're chopping the 26 in half. That's what division by 2 is. All right, I'm going to keep going. Base, exponent, argument. Uh-oh, what did I do here? Now, do we know, oh, okay, we're going to make the same base. This was on our test, make the same base. So if I said, hey, do you remember last week you did this on the test? You'd say, of course, Mrs. Keener, of course, Mr. Anziano. Here we go. Um, 25 is 5 squared. Now, watch this. This is fun. We're going to do this in calculus a lot. So we have 5 to the 2x. Do you agree with what I did there? I changed the square root to the 1 half. Okay. Now this is 1 plus 1 half. 1 plus 1 half equals what? 3 halves. So 5 to the 3 halves. Isn't that neat? Isn't that fun? Okay. Um, 2x equals 3 over 2. And when we divide by 2, the 2 goes in the denominator, you all, not in the numerator. So x equals 3 fourths. There is an easier way, but man, that was so much fun, right? That was a lot of fun. Okay, let's do e. Um, so do you want to know the easier way was? You, we could have put this in the calculator. Bummer. Let's do it here. Okay, log base 2 of 9. So log base 2 of 9, we're going to do log of 9 divided by log of 2. And we're going to find this in the calculator. Now, in your calculator, uh, blue, I'm blue. You ready? Here we go. How to use a backwards calculator? You need, we need log. Here we go. So we're going to do 9 log divided by 2 log. You see that? So that's log of 9 divided by log base log of 2. And this answer is not matching my notes at all. So let me clear. I'm going to try one more. Let's try it again. Yeah, you can't take the log of 0. Huh. I'm going to pause. Okay, I figured out what happened. I did it right, but I forgot to hit equals. So log of 9 divided by log 2. This is log 2. I need to hit equals. And there it is. It's right there. Okay, do you see how I wrote it down already? So I got this from the calculator and then just subtract 2 to get x. All right, one more. We can do it. 30 seconds. Here we go. If you see ln, what's the base? Base is what? E, base E. So we're going to say E to the 5 equals X plus 3. E to the 5 is in the calculator. So find that in the calculator. So E to the 5 and then minus 3 is 145. And that's what X is. Good job.